So hi guys, I hope everyone is doing well. I hope you guys are doing good and you know staying safe and inside. Um, I am currently still inside. Still need a haircut. Still need a haircut badly. Look at that. Oh my goodness, we can't even see it because of the poster in the background. But yes, my hair is crazy. I need a haircut. That's why I'm wearing a hat. It's hard to look probably unprofessional, but honestly, like I just feel like it looks more professional if I just keep all this down. We are going into um, a really important part of the, the book, uh, which I'm going to discuss a little bit about. But this more this video is going to be about uh, beginning your TED Talks and the stories surrounding uh, your person. So I would tell you that I'm actually going to post some stuff this week um, that maybe will help you guys with this a little bit more. But as you start developing your TED Talks, I think it's really important for you all to like kind of get to know the person that you're going to be talking about a lot more. Reading or research or talking to them if you're talking about a family member or anything like that. I think that there's a consistent thing that maybe we can look for in TED Talks, um, specifically as you guys are creating this project, that you can really do pretty well. One is the hook and starter. And I think that is probably the one thing that we're going to start with today. I don't think that it's helpful when you start a talk by just going, Hi, my name is so-and-so, and I am talking about blanky blank, right? That doesn't hook anybody, and that's not really a good starting point. I think that you actually can do that a different way that makes it more, like, more interesting for somebody to hear what you are talking about. I would tell you guys, as you start looking at this stuff and you start researching your person a little bit more, I want you all to find something that maybe is really interesting. All the people that you're going to talk about have a ton of stories about them. I've noticed that the best TED Talks are the ones where somebody starts off not by really talking about who they are or anything like that, but they're talking about their subject. Um, and that could be anything. Whatever topic that they're talking about, they start with a story or an anecdote that kind of leads them to talking about the subject that they're going to discuss. So if you notice when you have a TED Talk, a lot of people will get up there and they'll say, you know, they'll start with, a story about somebody that they know or their kids or anything like that that kind of bring the audience in. And the reason that they start with that is because it becomes much more personal than when you're just sitting there going like, you know, just giving like basically your introduction to your paper, like, and you're just reading off a script, right? I think a better way for you all to start with and to start working on your hooks is I want you all to find a story about this person that maybe somebody doesn't know. If, for example, you were going to be talking about, my my overall example that I'm gonna do, because no, none of you have chosen it, so I'm just gonna take him as my own example, is Alexander Hamilton. If I was going to start a TED Talk about Alexander Hamilton, probably the first thing I would do is look up a story about him or give like an overview of who he is as a person. So for example, I might say something like, in 1774, a teenager from the Caribbean came to the United States after he had received a, che a check from people around his community for, I think it was for a couple thousand dollars. I, again, this is all off the top of my head, so I'm trying to make it sound good. He came to the United States in order to change his life and to change his path, which has been stuck on, a, a, on this island for most of his life. His mother had died a few years earlier, along with one of his caretakers and many others around his life where he had no had almost no family and nothing to his name and came to the United States to try to make something out of himself and then would become the first treasury secretary of the United States how does he get from that point to this and that's what we're going to talk about today my name is Mr. Nietzsche I'm giving this presentation on blah 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 right that is just off the top of my head so if I'm giving that presentation on Alexander Hamilton I think that's a better way than just me coming up here and saying hi my name is Mr. Nietzsche. I'm giving a presentation about Alexander Hamilton. He was born in 17... Like, and you just start going through all this stuff, right? That's not how you really... like. It's not entertainment so much. It's more... Uh, I mean, but that is what it is, right? Your entertainment is drawing people in on a subject and on something, on a topic or um, something that you're talking about or discussing with uh, people. Um, if you want to entertain somebody... Entertainment just means that you are keeping their attention as long as you possibly can and trying to bring them in on something. So when you are starting to talk about this, I think that the best thing that you guys can do this weekend, what I'll probably make as your, your assignment for Wednesday, is to find a story 
about your person. Like a small story. It has nothing, but something that kind of like talks about their character a little bit, that talks about them as a person, that, talk, that kind of encapsulates who they are, right? For Hamilton, I started with that just off the top of my head because a lot of what Hamilton's life was about was being an immigrant and coming to prove himself in a new country. If you have somebody who is also in that same situation, you might start off with talking about how they came over to the United States. The anecdote has to be something that it could be personal too. If you are talking about a family member, uh, it can be like, you know, my uncle was always somebody who I aspired to and and, uh, and always wanted to be like. The, uh, like When I was younger, he used to tell me that I could be whatever I want because he was from that same thing. So something like that, you know what I mean? Like where you're starting off talking about them as a person and that story kind of encapsulates everything that you need to know about that person. And hopefully when you are doing these TED Talks, telling that story in that introduction will help you do that for that person, right? So this is where I talk about where you're trying to hook somebody, but also trying to make them interested to listen to the rest of whatever you have to say. So that is the first part of what we're going to be working on this week. So I want you guys to look up a story about the person that you're doing your TED Talk on. And I want you to summarize what that story is and try to write it out where it encapsulates what who they are and what they what they mean why like why you are talking about them as a person like what makes them special or different or an outlier and you can really try to explain that so that is the first step that I want you guys to look for is I want you to find a story about the person that you're going to be speaking about and I want you to explain not really like it, well in the paper you're going to have to explain why that tells you what that tells you about the person but Really, that should be pretty obvious when you're talking about that person, right? It doesn't have to be like, you know, you don't have to hit somebody over the head with it, I guess. But I'll show examples of this, I think, because I think this can be a really good exercise for you guys to kind of really start thinking about, okay, what what makes this person special? Why do I want to talk about them? And if you can't find a, a story about them that kind of encapsulates everything, I would really look at how you can try to introduce them um, as a person and make the audience interested in who they are. Like what makes them interesting? And if you can't find something that makes them interesting, they that might be something that you want to change. And maybe you might want to do a different outlier because, or somebody who might be considered more, ha, have more broad appeal. Because if you don't have that, um, people who watch your TED Talk are going to be kind of uninterested in what you have to say about them, right? So if you don't find them interesting or can't find something interesting about them, that's probably going to be your first sign that maybe we should change things around. That is what you guys are going to be working on this week for that. On top of this too, let's also talk about outliers uh, in chapter seven. What I want you guys to work on this week and look for is this chapter is really important because uh, this talks about South Korea and an airline that they have uh, where they constantly were crashing. Uh, planes were crashing and they had no idea why this was happening. And it's a really interesting look at the way hierarchy works in cultures. I think the United States is very good about like if somebody even in a higher position says something that you don't agree with, like people will talk back. You guys do this to me all the time. So you guys know, you guys will tell me if I'm wrong, right? In Korea, in many Asian countries, if a person is a teacher or an authority figure, you do not question them because that is the hierarchy that they have. Like if somebody is in a position of power or authority, the higher up they are, the more likely you are not going to be questioning their methods or their ideas or whatever you whatever you have. So that is what was happening on these flights. And I'll like let you guys read and kind of read through what it was. We have to be honest about the fact that culture affects us much more than we realize. So there are great things like when we were talking last week about culture and what I had you guys do last week was to really identify what strengths and morals and ideas that this person take that brought them to where they are and made them successful for their culture. This chapter is being honest about what hampering bring culture brings to you. If there's something in your culture that might hamper you from being successful, then you need to identify it and then hopefully figure it out and remedy it, right? That is what he's talking about with being successful is that some people overcome these obstacles because they identify this is a problem that I have and maybe it's not even a cultural thing, but this is what he's talking about, at least with culture, is that you need to identify the problems within this idea, right? 
So in South Korea, they were trying to identify why do we keep, why do these planes keep crashing? What is going on? And what is the reason behind this? So I think that this is a really interesting chapter for you guys to read. And for you guys to start thinking about, like, maybe there are things that happen in your outlier's life that prevented them from doing certain things, but obviously you chose them as being a very successful person. What makes them, what made them overcome all these obstacles that they had to overcome, right? So I would tell you guys to start working on that start talking about it. Uh, we can talk about it as a class on Thursday. Um, and I think that's about it. So yeah, for this week, I'm um, going to have you guys do that activity with the TED Talks. Uh, and then on Friday, I believe we're going to do another chapter quiz. I'm going to do a chapter quiz on, um, on outliers. And then you guys will have that and be ready to go with that. Um, I think that's about it. So uh, I hope you guys are good staying safe and staying inside, at least for the most part, and hopefully getting out and walking, but keeping distance and stuff, but, you know, getting out and, and living your life, you know, a little bit. Uh, I miss you guys. I hope everyone is doing good. Uh, let me know if you have questions about this on the chapter or on the TED Talk stuff. We're going to start really getting into the TED Talk stuff, so I want to make sure people are catching up. There's some of you who have still not done your assignment from last week. Uh, please make sure that you choose an outlier. I really want to make sure I have everybody who's chosen an outlier so that way you guys can start working on this and getting ahead on it so that way you're not overwhelmed by the time we get to the end of the year. So, all right, guys, I miss you all. I'll talk to you soon.